I have a tour of my rat cage. Here's Mocha. So here's the bottom level. It's just a bunch of loose bedding. That's where I sprinkle most of their food and they have to search for it. And then there are a couple lava ledges over here. You can see this rope. A bunch of ropes over here. Another lava ledge, some water bottles. And then there's a shelf here with a litter box. There's Nero. There is an upside down locker shelf with a litter box on top of that. And then there's another lava ledge and a rope. And then here's a shelf. There's a lizard lounger right there and a tunnel with a hole in it. And then here's another rope or bridge. And then there's a hammock. It's a tunnel. It's kind of hard to get the angle there. So they can sleep inside or on top of it. Sometimes they sleep in this flap here too. And there's this rope back here. And this basket, I think it's a fruit basket, I'm not really sure. Bought it from Goodwill and there's some fleece on top of that. To make it a little comfier. There's Mocha. You can see some lava ledges back here. There are three litter boxes that I always keep back there. And then here's another hammock that again they can sleep on top of it, inside of it, or in that flap at the top. And some, some lava ledges so they can go from this basket up to there and then there's this basket in the center and this basket on the end and then above their litter boxes there's a bridge then on the doors i have a bunch of lava ledges and an upside down locker shelf and some more lava ledges, upside down locker shelf, there's a water bottle, more lava ledges, there's Nero. And I set this cage up because I have two rats that are having troubles getting around a little bit. I think maybe they're experiencing some hind leg degeneration. Um, it's not real bad, but it's enough that if I have too active of a setup, it could cause them to fall and hurt themselves even more. So I try to make it easy so that wherever they are in the cage, they have an, an easy way to get to somewhere else. If you hear that noise, that is over here. I don't know who that is. It might be Hershey. It was Hershey's project to move all this paper into that box. 
there's paper down there that she was taking up there. There's Charlotte is the white rat. And then it was Remy that ran off. So when these doors are closed, I don't know if I can capture it very well with the wires, the, the cage bars. But I can try showing you what it looks like when the doors are closed so that it makes a little more sense why I have lava ledges and locker shelves where I have them. So we have these two lava ledges that are an easy access to get down from the top if they don't use a side. You can see Nero there. And then if I close those doors, yeah, it's kind of hard to see because of how the light bounces off of the cage wire, but you can see where the lava ledges are and hopefully you can see that it's kind of like a, a staircase going down. And then with this, this locker shelf is in close proximity to that shelf, so it's easy to go from that shelf onto the locker shelf and then climb up that way. So hopefully for my boys that are having issues with climbing, and getting around the setup has or will be making it easier. That's also why I have this water bottle on this door because normally I keep all of their water source down at the bottom here. Most of it's over on that side but I have I have water here and I also have water here. but I wanted an easier access for water for, for the boys that have a hard time. Here's Wilbur. He's one of the rats that is having troubles with his back legs. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Sometimes it seems more exaggerated and then other times it seems mostly okay. He can jump a very short distance, but he can't jump very far, not like he used to. He has a difficult time climbing. You can see how he struggles with his back legs there. And if this recording seems different than it usually does, I'm using my iPad instead of my phone because my phone turns off every time I open my camera app. I assume it would do the same thing if I were to try to record. So I'm trying my iPad instead. So if it seems a little extra wobbly or if the sound is a little weird, that would be why. I'm, I'm not used to it. This is my first time using an iPad to record. All right, well, I'm going to end this video and we will see you next time.
didn't quite make that one.